Hi Stamping Friends, I'm Karina with KarinasCreation.com and today I want to share with you this cute little pop-up card I made using the card base pop and cuts and the dress form pop and cuts. So get ready because after you see this video you're going to want to buy all these fun products. But when the card opens up, watch what happens. It is a pop-up card and you can see I put me turned it into a flower pot. So I'm still using the dress form die, but I first of all you need to buy the card base pop and cuts, and they're hidden in the mini catalog. So I'll just show you over here. This is the base that you need, and then you also need to buy the dress form pop and cuts as well. So you need these two pieces, and it looks like this. I've got it on zoom so this is a little tricky. Now you're probably wondering what these little pieces of paper are right here at the top and the bottom. That's where the score lines are in the die because I wanted to use eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock and it's very tricky if you can't see where the lines are. So all I'm gonna do is take some So Saffron eight and a half, or sorry, eight and a half, nope, that's not right, four and a quarter inch by 11 inch cardstock place it over the lines and then roll it through my Big Shot machine. Make sure that you buy the extended cutting pads for this or the project won't work. And all I'm going to do is run it through the Big Shot machine and that's going to cut a super cute card base for me. This base can also be used for other things. You can make gift card holders with it. Um, you just have to Google it on the internet. There's a lot of different things you can do. And what happens is you get this really cute shape. And it's got little slots at the bottom. And it's, these little shoulders actually will fit into these little slots. Like so, so that you can close the card. And then all I'm going to do, now it does not have a score line. So I'm going to score it like this. And then I'll go over it with my bone folder just to make it a little bit nicer. Okay, now the next step for this card is to put in the dress form pop and cuts. Now the dress form pop and cuts, again the die looks like this, I'm trying not to zoom in too much. The dress form is magnetic, so you put it in like this and what you're trying to do is match up these little lines and then you know it's in the right spot. Okay, and then I'm going to take my, I think it's Tea Time Designer Series paper that I'm using. And I'm just going to lay it, this one it doesn't really matter so much if it's lined in between the two pieces of sticky strip. And again I'm putting it between my two plastic cutting pads. And I notice this isn't quite lined up so we will fix this. And I'll roll this through the Big Shot machine. And this is what you get. So when we take a look at this, you can see there are two tiny slits, one here and then one on this side. That is basically the center of your card. So you need to fold that down. Then the next step to this is to start folding it. It's got a score line here. It's sort of hard to see in the video, I apologize. I can see it, but I don't know if you can see it. And then it comes forward this way. And then this part here is going to fold down. I've already pre-folded one. And that is what it looks like. Can you see that? It's a little upside down. When you have it done, this is what it looks like. Okay, and I'm just going to pause the video and get set up again so that you can actually see how the card goes together. Okay, to make the second part of the card, what I'm doing is just laying it down and I'm going to use some snail. And I'm just putting it on the edges and around the open holes in the, in the Pop and Cuts card base. And then all I'm going to do is close it up. Let's try that again. Let's line up the shoulders first. 
Okay, this is working better already. So my trick is line up the shoulders, close the card, and then what I'm gonna do on the bottom part is put adhesive on the bottom now. that that's lined up and then we will close it to make the card base. Now what I did for my card is I actually cut off one inch off of the bottom of my designer series paper. I just find it's a little bit easier to get the shoulders to go into the slots to close the card. Do you have to do this? No, totally optional. But that's what I did. And now the whole trick to this card is you have to make your flower basket. So the flower basket is made out of early espresso cardstock that's two and a half inches by one inches. And I put it through the polka dot embossing folder. And all I did to create the edge was I just started at one corner, cut, and then what I do is just flip it over to the opposite corner of the card, line it up, and then when I cut, you get the same angles on your flower pot. And that's it, that's what it looks like. And then I'm going to glue the flower pot onto the base of the dress. However, I wanted the flower stand to be the same color in early espresso. So that's when you need to buy the Framelit dress up die. And then all I did was put this through the big shot on early espresso cardstock, and then I cut out this shape. Now really you just need the base, so I actually cut my little dolly part in half. And then I will just glue this onto my dress. I'm using mono multi glue. You have to be really careful with this stuff, but it sticks. It's a wonderful adhesive. I love it and go through tons of it. It's my favorite. This and Snail are probably the two I use the most. Then you close that up. Okay, now the rest is just decorating. So what I've used are two stamp sets. I've used the Feels Good stamp set for the words because I love the greetings. And then I also use the Secret Garden stamp set. And the nice thing about the Secret Garden stamp set is that it has matching framelits. So I don't have to cut out any flowers. I love, love, love that. I hate cutting flowers or cutting anything. So there's a bit of a trick when you use your framelits. It's a post-it note trick. So, you stamp your image, put your framelit over your image, take a piece of post-it note, or take a post-it note, and then run it through your die. And then that way when you cut out the image, it doesn't slip. This is what not to do. I actually didn't use a post-it note, and it slipped, and I have too much white background, but that's okay. So, what I'm going to do now is just, basically the rest is decorating. So I'm just gluing the leaves behind my flower pot like so, and I actually won't show you how to do all of it. But all I did was stamp a couple flower images, punch them out. My colors are Calypso Coral, Baja Breeze, Lucky Limeade. And then, like I said, I just glued everything behind the dress form image. The greeting again is feels good. I sponged the edges with a stamping sponge. I just dipped in early espresso ink and just sponged the edge. And the front of the card, I actually see the cute little butterfly. I just had to use the new butterfly punch and put some rhinestone in the middle. And then the center of the flowers, I don't know if you can see, is actually done with a two-way glue pen and dazzling diamonds glitter. And I just added a little bit of early espresso stitched ribbon as well. And when I do my ribbon, I'll show you one more trick. I find it saves the ribbon if you actually put sticky strip. I don't know if you can see that sticky strip here and here. The lighting's not very good. And then all I do is tack down the ribbon over top. There's my ribbon. Sorry guys, I know this video is not the best today. And then all I do is just tack it around the back. And then I run some ribbon underneath and just tie a little knot. And then I have a bit of a cheater bow, save some ribbon, but the card still looks cute. So again, that's what the card looks like. You have your finished image with your ribbon. You pop it open and then you have a wow card to give to family and friends. So I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you have a great day and we'll try this. Oh, and buy these products before Friday because celebration ends Friday and you would get free celebration item if you buy these products. So it's a good time to do it. Happy stamping. Bye.